The next one is Fiverr.com. This lets you get your website set up. This lets you uh, get videos created. You can get articles written here. You can create basically anything that you could possibly get stuck on. You can go to Fiverr.com and someone will do it for you. If you can't figure out how to buy a domain, go to Fiverr.com. I guarantee there's someone on there that for $5 will help you buy a domain. Just come to the site right here, search for help me buy a domain. Okay? And if not, come down here to, to request gigs and request. Okay, I need someone to help me buy a domain. And you'll get a flood of people for five dollars who will help you buy a domain. Okay. So don't let any of these these technical things get you guys stuck in the way. I see so many people who get caught up in that technical part and they just can't figure out how to break through that barrier. Um, there's so many tools and so many resources nowadays you don't need to worry about that. Okay, Fiverr will get you through ninety percent of any technical issue you can dream of for five bucks. Okay, so don't let that ever be something that keeps you from success again. Okay, iWriter.com is an amazing tool if you don't like writing. Okay, and if you do like writing but you need a lot of articles, iWriter.com for three or four bucks an article, you can get people writing articles for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and really good articles you can use for all your feeder sites. Okay, and again, each feeder site, you don't need a ton of articles, you just need three for each of them. I need three for this one, I need, I don't need any for my YouTube video, right? I need three for, you know, this one over here. Each one you set up is going to be, um, you need three articles for. Okay, so looking at $15 investment. Total for your for your uh, for your articles, um, and that's about it so far for the creating pages. Okay, is that pretty simple? You guys, you guys get that so far? You know, again, the other thing is that there are other places you can create. If you get past, you know, if you've done this work, the, the first three I'd focus on again are setting up a keyword domain, a YouTube video, and then on your own blog. Those would be the first three I focus on. But if you get really intense, you're like, I got three. I want ten listings. The other there are a lot of places you can go to do that. Um, and like I said, some of them are Craigslist.org. Okay, Craigslist pages rank great. Okay, it's a little tricky. You got to make sure the page stays there, but they rank great. Articlebase.com, Squidoo.com, EasyArticles.com, Hubpages.com, USFreeAds.com, Buzzle.com, GoArticles.com. Okay, there's always new sites popping up that allow you to create pages on them. And for whatever reason, Google goes through these love-hate relationships. For a while, for like two years, Squidoo was the most amazing thing in the world. It was as powerful as uh, as YouTube. All you do is create a page in here. You know, you, you it takes you 15 minutes to create a page, and boom, you got a new page you, you created in there. Okay. Um, let's see where am I at? Uh, that was my thing there. Okay, that one closed. Let me reopen this. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, Squidoo was the biggest one. Squidoo still works. Uh, not it doesn't rank as high as it used to, but it still ranks high, and people aren't using it as much, so it's it's a good place to go back to. Easyarticles.com again, they let you create a page on their site. Hubpages.com, usfreeads.com, buzzle.com, gooarticles.com. All these sites are places you can be adding uh, content to that create a page. When you have a page, now you can go and rank that page. When that page is ranked, you start getting a piece of that traffic. Okay, so if you're just getting started again, again do the do the easy ones. But when you're ready to do more and you really want to dominate, there's a lot of other ones you can go and add to the to the pipeline. Okay. All right. So um, now we're going to be shifting over to like the backlinking part of it. But I want us to take um, a break. We're about we're a little over an hour into this right now. I want to take a break and uh, let you guys ask me some questions before we move on to the linking. Okay? Because the, creating the page is one thing, but no, the page is not going to rank until you do the next step. So let's take a let's take a few minutes and ask you know answer any questions you guys have about this really quick, and we'll move into the backlinking strategy. How we get backlinks very simply and very easily. Okay. All right, so we have a bunch of questions in here. Let me pull them up for me myself real quick. Okay. 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 Someone said, "How much does Jaxi cost?" Uh, I think the first thirty or forty searches are free. So, and I've never paid for Jaxi to this day. They they always keep giving me free searches. I don't know why, but it just keeps getting bigger. So you can get all your stuff up for Jaxi for free, pretty much. Okay. Um, Someone says, "Why don't you use Google AdWords?" We do, but this, uh, this, I just like. Oh, I think you're asking for the keyword tool. Um, I just like Jaxi's keyword tool. I like the red light, green light. Okay, I can go and try to. I can go look at all the competitive research and all that kind of stuff and try to figure it out on my own, or I just look right here and I just fast red light, green light. Do I go after it or do I not? Okay, if you're more advanced, you can go into to Google and figure out all the AdWords stuff, but I don't do it yet. Um, so, I mean, if you if you want to, you can. Um, okay. Someone said he talks slower. I'm going really slow too. I've been doing my best. <laughs> okay. Okay. Someone says you have your own servers. Where can the rest of us get our? Okay. So where can where can if you don't have your own server, where can you host your your site? Um, again, hosting it doesn't really matter. Um, 
all hosts are pretty much the same. Um, some have better support, things like that, but for the most part, they're pretty much the same. Um, so you can use, uh, you know, GoDaddy.com has got hosting. Um, BrainHost.com has really good hosting. Um, GVO, I think it's GoGVO.com has got good hosting. I mean, any co hosting company is going to be about the same. If they're charging more than five, you know, five to ten dollars a month, they're probably ripping you off. But most sites, five to ten dollars a month, you can host unlimited sites on them. Uh, so just find any hosting company. There's no, you know, I mean, th there's none that are really that they're that big of a deal. Okay, someone said, what's the reason why you have different hosting companies? Um, when you start going to more competitive niches with stuff like this, if all of your if all your feeder sites are on the exact same site as your golden sequence site, and again, it's only if you're going after really competitive stuff. Sometimes they'll look at that and say these sites are all this, you know, it's probably owned by the same person. So if I have this one on one server and this one on a different, you know, different servers, then um, then the the thought process is that they're not going to know it's the same person. Therefore, they're more likely to rank. You know, rank multiple pages here because they're they're all different sites. Where if they think you're all the same person, they may go and, and not rank one or two of your pages. Okay, but again, that's why we're using YouTube and things like that. They're already separate hosting. They're already separate. You know, separate IPs, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's kind of the the psychology behind that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's just funny comments in here. Good, good. Okay, someone said, would you leave a date posted on your blog too? Great question. Okay, so what they're asking is back here on my, my blog post, it says posted on May 25th, 2012. Um, yes, I will go back and pull the dates off because after I make my three, my three blog posts, I'm never posting on this blog again. If someone comes in 10 years from now, I don't want them saying, oh, this post is 10 years old. So we do usually remove the dates. Um, I personally don't know how to do that, so I'm probably going to go to Fiverr.com and say, hey, can some dude come and remove the dates off my blog? Because I don't know how to do that. But yeah, um, typically with things like this, you don't want the date on there because then it, it doesn't seem evergreen. You know what I mean? Good question. Can someone said, should you put AdSense or something else on your feeder site? Um, yeah, you can. What I typically do is while I'm ranking the site, I don't worry about putting anything else on it. Okay? Because if I put AdSense on there, I put banner ads, put a bunch of stuff right now, you know, if I get a manual review, people are like, oh, this is a site that they're trying to just rank, you know, to, to make money on. Uh, so I usually wait. Till about the 30-day mark before I go and start adding things on, and it, actually the very last step here that we're going to be covering today is is what I add on these sites. Um, so right now I would just I you, know, you if you want you can put AdSense on there, but I wouldn't worry about it. Um, the amount of money you're going to make at first is is so little it's not even worth it. But yeah, after it starts ranking, then come back, add AdSense on there, throw you know, all these other things on there that will show you. Add those things on there for sure. And start monetizing then. Uh, okay, someone said, do we post two additional pages or just add the first post? Great question. Yes, you want to create two additional pages. Each article is going to be a brand new blog post. Good, good question. Someone said, can you use a spin version? I would not use a spin version. We're going to be using a spin version for the next step in this process. Um, I wouldn't do it on my, um, I, I personally would do it on my feeder site. You can. Um, I, don't, I don't. I like having three unique articles written. Good question. Okay. Okay. Someone said, "How do I get over 150 free searches on um, Jaxi?" I've been using it for like five months, and they just keep every month they just give me. I think it'd be maybe it's 20 free searches a month. That might be it. I just keep it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So who knows? Okay. Someone said, "How long has this webinar been going? We've been on for an hour and 11 minutes. We're about a third of the way through stuff." Okay. Someone said, "How would you do Craigslist?" I go to Craigslist and just make a post. So like, um, obviously Craigslist had to be buying or selling or doing something. So I just find a, a category that made sense for whatever my offer was, and I would post in there saying, "Hey, free." You know, it might be in the free section. Like, here's a free video about blah 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 blah, something like that. Okay, good question. Someone said, "How do you check with duplicate content with iWriter?" When you do an article in iWriter, they use something called copy scrape, which means they basically go in and they make sure that nobody else has scraped that article. And they make sure it's a unique article just to you, which is nice. Uh, oh yeah, Don Jordan said Weebly.com is great. He's right. Weebly.com is a great uh, site that you can create pages on. Okay, so um, that's a, that's another great one. I'll put that up really quick for those who've never seen it. It's just uh, Weebly.com. Weebly is like a website building site. So you can go in here, create a website for free, and then boom, post your article on there. And now you got another page. Good, good. Okay. Someone said, in iWriter, uh, will they sell the same articles they wrote to you for someone else? No, every article they write is unique. 
Um, and again, like I said, they use CopyScrape to, after they write the article, the, it goes through CopyScrape to see if that, those words have ever been used on the internet anywhere else in that format. And if it has, it kicks the article out. So the article will be unique to you and nobody else can ever use that again. Okay. Let's see. Does WordPress collect the money? Uh, WordPress, I don't know how they make their money, but it's not off of us. <laughs> okay. He said, what are the tricky parts with other sites like Craigslist and US free ads? Um, there's nothing tricky. You just got to go and do it. Um, we could, I could go and do it on every single site, but we'd be here for, for two hours. You know what I mean? Like, go to, you know, everyone's going to be different. So if I click on scoodoo.com, again, I'm going to come here and just, just play with it. Like, do it for free. I create my account. After I create my account, it's going to tell me what to do, and I just do it. Like, there, I mean, all these things are just following simple instructions. So I just go to each one of them and just follow the instructions that each of these, each of these sites give you. Okay. Um, okay, good. Someone said, are we going after one keyword or are we going after – okay, good. Good question. So what I typically do – so here's my, here's my layout here. Um, I'm going to focus – usually what I'm going to do – let me get another color here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is in purple now. So I'm going to pick one keyword, right? And then from that one keyword, I'm usually going to do – if the keyword's high enough, okay? So again, like this one right here, how to invest in gold, that's a big keyword, right? So I'm going to do a lot of stuff. I'm going to do a feeder site. I'm going to do a blog post here. I'm going to do a YouTube video. I'm probably going to do a squidoo lens. I'm going to do four or five things because that keyword's huge, okay? For investing gold silver, it's a, it's, it's a lot smaller, so I might just do a YouTube video for that one because it's a little bit smaller, okay? Investing gold coins is 4,000 searches. I may do a YouTube video, and um, I may make, create a, a unique site with that as well. Um, so it just depends. So the bigger the keyword, the more pages I'm going to create. The smaller the keyword, um, I may just create a YouTube video. I mean, that's the easiest and the fastest for me, so I may just do a YouTube video and try to get that ranked for that keyword. Okay? So that's a, that's a really good question. Um, and then basically I pick, uh, I, um, you know, each side of focusing on one or two or three little, three keywords. Okay? So for example, when I came back here, this blog post, you know, my, my keyword, the core keyword is how to invest in gold, but then I also have uh, investing gold coins. I have a couple of keywords in there, and I'm probably going to rank those other keywords as well, even though I'm not really trying to. Uh, and a lot of those ones are like the really the the small ones that only get like 200 searches a day. The you know, best way to invest in gold, the searches are tiny on that thing, um, so I may I may have that phrase somewhere in here, and I'll probably rank for it just because it's so small, and nobody really cares about it. No one else is fighting for it, you know. Uh, someone said this is fast paced. So they're going to be a replay. Yes, there's a replay. Um, that'll be up either tonight or tomorrow or hopefully by this weekend we'll have the replay for sure. Uh, someone said satellite pages and feeder sites are the same thing. Yes, it's just different ways to tomato, tomato. Okay. Someone said, will I cover how to get backlinks? Yes, that's the whole next section. We're talking about backlinks. Okay. <laughs> someone said, don't I use Mount Market Samurai? There's so many keyword tools out there. I could spend a year trying to learn them all. I personally don't. I use Jaxi.com. The only one I use. I don't use AdWords. I don't use Market Samurai. I just use Jaxi. That's how, again, most of us guys, we're getting too complicated and we're using too many tools to get a process done. All we need to know is which ones to go after. Jaxi gives me everything I personally need to know. <coughs> okay. Okay. What do you recommend for gold? Uh, okay. It's my golden sequence site. Um, so, goldsilversecrets.com. They're asking, <coughs> excuse me. They're asking um, who built that. If you watched the, the last webinar, I built it when you guys were there. I built it WordPress. It cost me nothing. It was free. Um, this is the default WordPress installation for my Golden Sequence site. Um, again, if you guys missed the Golden Sequence training last time, uh, go back to affiliatebootcamp.com and sign up for it because it's obviously a, a big piece of this. It will help you a lot. Okay, someone said they came in late and they want me to re-explain everything. Uh, I can't show you everything now, but there's a replay that'll be up that'll give you access to everything. So I apologize for that. Um, someone, okay, good question. Someone said, do I post the same articles from iWriter to those article directories? Will they uh, create du duplicate content? Um, I typically um, don't use the same. I don't. I wouldn't go post the exact same article everywhere. Um, I usually get a new unique article written for each page I'm going to be focusing on. Okay, um, I know some people who, who do just spin them or things like that. You can. Um, I personally, I just pay the, you know, each, for me, I look at this as an investment, okay? Like, I'm going to invest, if I, if I want this page right here, I'm going to pay $5 to get an article written. I'm going to pay, 
you know, some money to get drive backlinks, but it's an investment. But look, the investment may be fifteen, twenty dollars for this whole thing when all said and done, and I may get five hundred clicks a month from it. Okay, that's an amazing investment. That's way better than PPC or Facebook ads or anything else. Okay, so yeah, I, 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 I want to get this page ranked. I'm going to write a unique article personally. Uh, there are shortcuts, so um, you can definitely shortcut it, get it spun, um, things like that, and you, you'll see how to do that here in a little bit. But anyway. Okay. Okay. Troy's asked a couple times. Did I link the first page back to my squeeze page? Um, so he's asking back here. Do I link this back to my squeeze page? Um, I will. I don't yet. I haven't yet. Okay. Again, I usually wait until this page is ranking before I start adding in um, all the elements to drive them back to my money site. And I'll show you guys that here at the very end. Right now, I'm just trying to get this this page ranked. I'm trying to make it as clean and as white hat and as legitimate looking as possible because I don't want them to think I'm trying to sell something. Uh, you can though. You can definitely put in a link back to your squeeze page. Um, but I usually do that um, after I've posted a couple articles, and then I come back and I add in banner ads and a bunch of other stuff that I'll show you at the end of the, the presentation. Uh, someone said, is having different hosts really that important? No, it's not. It used to be back in the day. It's less important now than it used to be, my opinions. Okay. These questions are the same ones a couple times. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna keep going. Um, uh, good question. Someone said, "Do you use blog networks to rank your sites anymore?" Um, we, uh, yes and no. Um, blog networks have changed a lot in the last couple of weeks. I'll talk about that here in a minute. So, um, anyway, I'll show you guys what we're talking about. Okay, someone says, "Where would the replay be at?" This is where the replay will be at: affiliatebootcamp.com/slash redgreen123 to HTML. I'll also send you an email to replay. The replay, as soon as we get live, this is where the replay will be posted. Don't worry, guys. We'll take care of you. We're here to make sure you are successful. Okay. All right. I'm gonna jump in. A lot of these questions are very similar, or they're completely off topic. So, um, and I don't want to be here for 40 hours. I have, I have my kids tonight, so I'm gonna keep moving. Um, we'll do some more questions after the next section. Okay. All right. So, man, here's my scribble board. Here's everything we covered so far. And again, if you guys have been stuck or confused at all, we'll, you know, watch the replay. Um, but this is kind of everything we've covered um, um, so far. Now, the next step in this. Because you can create a page, but it's kind of like they say in uh, in Field of Dreams. You know, they always say, "If you build it, they will come." That's not how it works online. You have to build it, and then you have to promote it to get people to come to it. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys. I'm going to clear this page out and start going into some uh, some SEO 101, so you guys will understand how this whole um, this whole process works. Okay. So we're talking about how to rank each one of these pages. Okay. So first off, do you guys remember where you were when you first heard about Google for the very first time? Okay, I always think about stuff like that, like these big, huge things that are like amazing. Like, where was the first time you ever heard about it? Okay, so for me, I was in I was in a a little town in New Jersey at a local library, and some lady sitting like computer next to me said, uh, "I found out this new site named Google.com. It, it's the best search engine I can actually find. I'm looking for." And so I went to Google.com, and lo and behold, I could find what I was looking for. It was the greatest thing in the world. It changed my whole like computer experience after that. Okay. Um, so let me explain the kind of how Google became Google. Okay, so pre-Google there were search engines, right? The search engines were really different. They were they were categorizing things based on all sorts of weird stuff, like people that would um, pay them, or they just found sites they liked, or there was no really. There's just a bunch of weird ways, and it was hard to find things. You guys remember that? It was hard to find things you actually wanted. So Google came around, and they came up with this algorithm, and this algorithm is basically is why they're Google right now. And it was very very simple. They said, look. What we're going to do is we're going to base how high this site right here, how high it ranks in our in our listings. Here's Google over here. Here's our, our top ten, right? We're going to base how high this person is based on how many other people like the site. How many other sites are linking to this site? Okay? And that's how Google became Google. That was their big aha. That was the whole algorithm change. So what happened is if if this guy right here had a hundred sites linking to him, all I had to do is get 101 sites and boom, I'd be in front of him. That's how it basically was. Okay. Now, um, unfortunately, unfortunately for Mark, you know, for for Google and for the world, is that marketers like us said, "Wow, that's all this." They started building sites where they just get a billion links in like 50 seconds, and they rank for everything. So, people like us manipulated it, abused the system. So Google came back and said, "Look, we got to change this." So they had their one of their very first updates. Okay, and the first updates they said, "Okay, a lot of links is really good, but instead of just a lot of links, let's make sure these links are actually relevant." So this the site's about. About birds, let's make sure that these links are coming from from bird sites. Okay, and so if they can link from some other site, that's okay. But we're gonna we're gonna wait each of these links. So this link, we're gonna give it 
10% weight, okay? And this link's bird site gets 10%. This link's from, like, from Craigslist, so we're going to give it 1%. You know, this site's from his mom's blog, so we're going to give it, you know, 0.5%. And so they started weighting links. So links became more valuable. Links from relevant sites were worth more than links from crappy sites. Links from high authority sites, sites that had high page rank, they called it, uh, they would rank it more, okay? So now they have an algorithm where not only did you want a lot of links, you wanted good links, okay? So that made it a little harder for marketers at first. Uh, we came back and figured out other ways around that. And so they came out with, with new updates. And every single, every four or five months came out with new updates, right? You probably heard about Panda, and then just recently there's Penguin, and all these different updates that, that change, okay? And most people look at these updates and they freak out. Um, but if you look at, like, what's the underlying thing that Google's trying to do, okay? They're trying to make a good searching experience for their end user, okay? That's what they're looking for. And so all you have to do is when the new update comes out and things change, you look at it and say, okay, what, what were the changes? And luckily for, for all of us, there are some brilliant people out there who watch these changes like crazy and they kind of, and they, they're monitoring hundreds of thousands of sites and say, based on my network of 100,000 sites, this is what Google's last update did, okay? I spent like two hours last night just reading on Google Penguin update. Um, we've, we've done a lot of things that, that have tweaked some things and changed some things and gotten our sites ranking even better now than before, but it all came back to just understanding what was the algorithm change? What did Google change um, to make things, make things increase better, okay? And so, but still, the, the core of the core of search engines are all backlinks. Okay, so you have a page, and th there's let me step back. So there's kind of two things. Okay, the first one is called on-site on-site SEO, and SEO stands for search engine optimization. Okay, so on-site, so things you do actually on your your website. Okay, so if you come back here, again here this. The nice thing about WordPress, WordPress does all the on-site stuff for you primarily, okay? So like for example, they want your, your H1 tag to have your keyword in it. So you notice this, I'm in my blog post, it says invest in gold is my keyword, and guess what, or how to invest in gold is my keyword, and guess what, because I made it my, my title, WordPress automatically made that my H1 tag, okay? It wants to have the keywords in your article and things like that. Basically, it's nice because on-site, you know, WordPress and, and writing articles the way I just showed you will take care of most of that for you. So you don't have to worry too much about it. The second um, aspect is called off-site. These are all the things that are ha happening off of your website that are pointing back into your, your website, okay? And these are all links, basically. So who's linking to you? How are they linking to you, okay? And so that's kind of the, the process. So, so if you're down here on, on page three in Google and you want to get down, up here to page number one, really the, the key is you've got to get links to your page. The more links you get, the higher you're going to rank, okay? Like that's literally, like that's the SEO game. Okay, like I said, there, there's nuances, there's things that tweak, there's things that change, how you get links, the type of links, all those kind of things change, um, but the, the goal is really you just need links, okay? So let me, um, so I know a lot of you right now who are on this webinar either have heard about like the most recent update or they're nervous about it or some of you guys have no idea about it. So I'm going to share with you really quick just so you know kind of what's happening in the SEO world right now because um, when you're aware of it, it's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, so the newest update that came out was called Panda. And Panda was looking, Panda did a couple things. The first thing is it made, and they've had this before, but this one became even more important, is they wanted to make sure it was coming from relevant, your links coming from relevant sites. Relevant. They're relevant sites, okay? So that's the key. It's like, the, the, the more relevant sites linking to you, the better. And I'm gonna show you guys a way to get, to get relevant links very, very easily, okay? The second thing is, um, is they changed um, how the anchor text is supposed to work, okay? Anchor text. Some of you guys have no idea what anchor text is, so let me explain that. You know you go to a website and you see something that says click here, click here, and it's like a blue underlined text, and if you click there, it takes you to the website, right? So that's kind of what, um, that's what anchor text is. So let me show you, for example, if I go to Google right now, um, click here. Guess what pops up first? Okay, it's kind of funny. Adobe uh, Acrobat pops up first because everyone always says, and this is on like a million web pages. It says if you don't have if you don't have Adobe or if you don't, you can't read this PDF. Click here to download Adobe Acrobat Reader. Okay, so the keyword says click here, and they click on it, and it takes them to the page. So that's what anchor text is. Okay, now back in the day, pre Penguin, what what you wanted is you wanted like ninety percent of your links to have that it, the, the anchor text in it. So if, if this page, if I was trying to rank this page for, for gold investing, 
gold investing, then I wanted to link on some other page and say gold investing, gold investing. I want that to be the blue underlying link. When someone clicked on it, I wanted it to take them to the page. Okay, so that was a big thing. So when we used to do backlinking, 90% of our links said said that gold investing in it, right? Or whatever the keyword I was focusing on. Okay, does that make sense, you guys? Um, I know it's a little technical for some, you know, for some of the beginners. If, if it's technical, don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm just explaining kind of the, the philosophy behind the new update. Um, with the new update, what they found is Google Google decided that that's not natural. It's not natural to have 90% of your links to have the hypertext or you have the anchor text in it. Okay, because because you think about natural again. When you guys post on your blog, do you ever use anchor text? You know, I, I don't think rarely we we ever really do that. So it, it wasn't natural to Google. So before they rewarded you with your 90%. Now they want your anchor text at 50%. Okay, so only 50% of your links can or should have your actual keyword in them. Okay, so if you come back here to the handouts, go to our handouts right here. We're down here now on number, on page 10. Uh, again, only 50% of your text should be anchor links. Okay, and again, that used to be like, we used to want 90% of that. So we want 50% of our links anchor links. So what's interesting is all of our sites that got hurt during the Penguin update, we started slamming a bunch of links that weren't anchor text at it, and boom, it offset that ratio, and boom, our ranking started rising again. Is that interesting? So what do you do with the other links? The other links, and again, if you don't know how this linking thing works yet, well, I'll show you guys in a minute, so don't stress out about it. Um, I'll show you this, but just keep this in the back of your heads. Um, the other 50% of the links should be other things, like just a direct link to your domain name. Okay, Most people linking to you are just going to put a, a direct link. So some links that are just www, some that are http www, some that are click here, some that are other keywords. Okay, so when you're buying links, you're getting links, you're doing links. You just want to be, you just want to be more diverse. Okay, using a lot of different anchor text when you're getting your links. Okay, that was a huge one with with the penguin update. Okay, um, and uh, there's a couple other ones. Blog networks got hit. It was more of a manual thing. So you can still use blog networks if you do them correctly. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show you guys some other stuff that's different than blog networks, but for those who are asking that question. Um, the other big one that was kind of a, a, a hit is they used to give you a lot of relevancy if you had your the keywords in the domain, like I showed you guys earlier. Um, keywords in domain. That used to be a huge, huge, huge deal. And they didn't they didn't penalize you for that, but they took away the benefit of that. Okay. So if you had like um, you know, if you had if your keyword was make money and you own makemoney.com, they'd rank you high because of that. Now they just kind of took away that benefit, so your site would have dropped. Um, didn't hurt you. I mean, it hurt you, but it, it wasn't like you got penalized. You just lost the benefit of that. Okay. So there's kind of linking. You know, that's that's what the the penguin update was. So as long as you understand that, you understand. Hey, when I link, I want to make sure I'm linking from relevant sites. I want to make sure only half of my keywords have um, the 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 actual, half my links have the actual keyword, and the other half have other things. Um, those are the kind of core things. If you're doing those things, you're going to be fine. Okay. Um, all right, and then the last, oh, the last big one, and this is something that's very, very important to understand. Um, Google started giving huge, 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 huge um, benefit to people that are using, uh, they're, they're using social, not social media, but um, like social sites. For example, if you have a page and somebody gives you a Facebook like or a Google Plus like or they tweet about it, things like that, that relevancy is just shot up dramatically, okay? Um, and so we want people liking our pages because if they like our pages, guess what? Google will award you for that. You're going to rank higher now. We want people to Google plus our pages, okay? Because if we do, Google's going to going to award us. That was the other really really big one. In fact, I had this whole section last night, as you guys will see down here, um, step number seven. It's going to show you how to get tons of people liking your pages, okay? In a very um, organic, very clean, very white hat way. Um, so that's that's important. Okay, so there's kind of again for those of you guys who never wanted to learn SEO, that's more than you ever want to know. It's not important. That's that I shared all that for the technical people who want to know it. For those who are beginners, all you need to know is we just created some pages, right? We got to slam some backlinks into those pages. I'm gonna show you guys the right way to get those backlinks. Okay, and again, the more backlinks you get, the higher you're gonna raise in the rankings. Okay, all right. So let me dive back in over here. Okay, so we need to get backlinks. Okay. Yeah, step number four is how to get the backlinks. Again, one big key of this is that if I just go and I slam a thousand backlinks to my page tomorrow, guess what happens? Google says there's no way you got a thousand backlinks in one day. This is not relevant or this is not legitimate. This is obviously some marketers trying to do marketing tricks, right? Um, so what you want to do is 
the very first 30 days, again, this is a slow organic process. The first 30 days, I just want 25 links a day going to this page. Okay, I'm going to start slow so it seems natural. Okay, so for this great page, oops, this great page that I just created with you guys right here, how to invest in gold. If I click on the blog post, it'll take me to the page. So this is the this is the actual page. How to invest in uh, how to invest in gold x.com slash how to invest in gold. Um, this page right here, I want to start getting 25 links a day to it consistently for the next 30 days. Okay, and again, I'm going to show you guys how to do that here in a second. But that's the key: 25 links a day. Oh yeah, okay. Um, and then after that, we can start ramping it up. Again, 50% of my links should be anchor text links, and 50% should be other things like these. Okay. All right. Okay, step number five now. So backlinking tools. Now, there's a lot of tools you can use to get backlinks. Um, some are better than others. I'm going to show you guys some of the ones that we use the most. Um, but I'm basically, I'm going to give you guys a, like a, a, you know, a handful of tools, and from those tools, you kind of pick what it is that, uh, that you guys like the most. Okay, so the tool that I like the most because it gives me the ability to drip feed my, my things is Unique Article Wizard. Okay, if you go to uniquearticlewizard.com, you can get an account or just go here and then that way I get affiliate commission. I don't care if I get a commission or not, it's a great tool. You guys should all have an account to it. Um, it's kind of funny, uh, we have a, a outsourcers who use, who use it and um, I couldn't find our password last night from the outsourcers for me to play with it and kind of um, start using it again. I used to use it back in the day when I learned how it worked and I gave it to hand it off to our outsourcers. You know, I couldn't find the login, so I actually got a new account, set it up, and so I did this whole process last night, and I'm going to show you guys how it works because it's very, very, very powerful. So basically, the way that Unique Article Wizard works, if I take this back, okay, it's kind of a, a couple-step process. So I have my page I just created over here, right? This can be my YouTube page. It could be my, my new website I set up. It could be a blog post, whatever. But here's, here's the page, right? Unique Article Wizard is basically it's a software program. I log in the software, and, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an article. Okay, this article is going to have, say, three paragraphs, right? Paragraph one, two, and three. So then it takes that article and it's going to turn it into um, a lot of different articles, like 20 or 30 or 40 different articles. Actually, I think what ends up being done, it creates like a thousand different articles, right? Okay, so it creates a whole bunch of unique different articles. Then what it does is it takes those articles and they have a network of hundreds of thousands of sites and I say okay my site over here that I want to link to is about what? Is it about gold and silver investing? It's about weight loss. It's about whatever topic it's about and then what it does is it comes back and it finds all the different blogs in their blog network that are on the same topic as mine. Remember we talked about you want relevant blogs and it takes one version's article and posts it here and it drops backlinks back to my page. Then it takes a new version of the article, drops it here, takes the next page. And it keeps spinning this article and creating new articles, and it, and it drops on these people's blogs, and then drops links back to my site. Okay? So what's cool is I write one article, and I'm going to spin it three different ways, and I'll show you guys how this whole process works. I then set a timer saying I want 25 links a day, and then I push a button, and I'm done. And this thing will go in here, and boom, it'll, go, it'll submit 25 links a day on all these different blogs, and I'll keep doing that for the 30 days. Okay. After three days, I can I can increase that. So, okay, now I want 50 links a day. I want 100 links a day. You can start increasing it, but it's very powerful. Okay. So what's nice about Unique Article Wizard and why it's probably my favorite is because as soon as my as soon as each page is created, then I go in here and either I do this or I hire someone off iWriter or I have an outsource worker do do it. They come in here. They basically they fill out the article the the wizard. And I'll show you I'll show you guys the wizard. It's really simple. They fill out the wizard. They type how many links they want, and then I walk away from it. I don't think about it again. And it starts dropping these links 25 a day magically without me ever thinking about it. It just works like, like magic. Is that cool, you guys? So that's how Unique Article Wizard works. So let me actually show you, um, show you the process you guys can see in action. Okay? So here's Unique Article Wizard. Um, all right, and the one that I did last night, like, I have to go and actually tweak something. I messed up something. But after you log in, I think it's $67 a month. So it's not cheap, um, but it's definitely worth it. Um, especially if you want to go out there and get that many links a day, like it's going to cost you a lot more money than sixty-seven dollars a month. I promise you that. It's a really cool tool. So you come here, submit articles, uh, and you go to Easy Wizard. Let me make this a little bigger, actually. Go to Easy Wizard, and what's cool about this is there's a wizard that walks you through every single step of it, so you can't get stuck. Like I literally watched every step last night. I'm like, this is so easy. They give me a video on every one. So step number one, I watch this video. It tells me how to use the wizard. When it's done, I click on Continue. It moves. It says create a project name. It's like now that you have a tool. Check out this whole video showing me how to create a project name. So I'm going to do um, gold, 
silver test. So that's my test one. Uh, okay, so I create the name, then I click on step number, click on the next step. Then boom, it asks me next step. Who's the author's name? And it, it goes right here, it gives a whole video telling me how to do it. Russell Brunson. Okay, next step. See how easy this is, guys? Like, it's so simple. Okay, now it's going to say, uh, kind of, okay, so now this is, this is, the, this is the, the, the complicated, not the complicated step, this is the big step. And again, I'm showing you guys this, but you don't need to be doing it. You can have someone off Fiverr do it. You can have someone off Odesk do it. I'll show you guys how to get people to do it, but this is the process. You understand it. Again, as the entrepreneur, we want to understand the process. We don't necessarily have to do the process, okay? So watch this video here. It explains how the whole thing works. Basically, what I need to do is I'm going to create um, some articles. If I click here, it shows you what it looks like. So I'm going to create an article. You see version one right here. This is an article. This is the title of the article. This is paragraph one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's got six, six paragraphs in this article. So I'm going to create that one article first, and then it walks through the process for me to rewrite each of the paragraphs. So I end up, when all of a sudden, I have three titles. I have, what, six times three? I have 18 different paragraphs written. And from those three articles, those three titles and those 18 paragraphs, it can give you 25 links a day forever. Okay, it's pretty, pretty sweet, you guys. You're going to love this. So now I'm going to actually do that. So I go to step number one right here. And what it's going to do is going to have me actually write, to write, your article. write the article. Okay. Now again, if you don't want to write this, you go to iWriter.com, have someone write it, whatever it is. We write the article. And let's see. I'm going to grab one just so I don't have to write one. You guys are all sitting here. So here's my article. Okay, where are we at? Okay, so I post the article right here. It checks out. It says there's 507 words in seven paragraphs. So there, my article is finished. Okay, I go to step, go to the next step. It comes back here and it explains how to create your three titles. So make title number one is going to be. I'll you know, come back here. Title number one: How to invest in gold. Learn, learn gold secrets. Cool gold tips. Okay, so I would normally in my titles I would use my keywords somehow, but that's basically how it works. And again, if you get stuck, watch this video I'll walk you through it. Go to the next step. Okay, now write multiple paragraphs. So now it comes back here. This is paragraph one of my article. Okay, so if you come back here, this is the very first paragraph of my of my article back here. So I come here. It says here's our article. Here's paragraph number one. Now rewrite this paragraph. So now I'm going to sit here, it'll take a little while, but I'll sit here, I'll rewrite the same pair, I'll say the exact same thing, just in different words. So instead of gold is the ultimate hedge of dollar investment, I say, did, did you know that gold is considered the ultimate, oh, okay. And then in Article 3, um, some people don't know that gold is actually the ultimate Oh, well. Okay, so that's how you write the three paragraphs. Then your next paragraph, next. Oh, they're gonna make me actually write something. Okay, now if I was doing this for real, I would take a little more time on this to make sure that my paragraphs actually made sense. Right now, I just want to show you guys the process. Next paragraph. So I go through this wizard. What is the next step? Paragraph. Man, I picked a long article. I got like 17 paragraphs. Okay. All right. So because I did that way, there's some errors and some problems. So I'm gonna actually do this. I'm gonna come back here and show you guys the one that I did. Okay. So this is one I did last night. Let's see. Okay, and I just spent some actually the time that I wrote I wrote these articles all by myself. Just so I can show you guys that I can actually do this stuff too. So here's the here's the one I wrote last night. So you can see it makes it a little bigger so you can actually see it. So here's the three tiles I wrote. So the first one was uh, learn how to invest in gold the simple way without the middleman. Next one's twenty four year old kid discovers how to invest in gold fifty cents on a dollar. Third one discover how twenty four year old kid uh, old wise kid cracks the secret how to invest in gold 50 cents on the dollar. There's my three titles and then boom here's the article I wrote. So I wrote the first one right here and if you notice this article is very similar to like the blog post on my uh, on my golden sequence site 
um, it says, hey, have you seen companies online or have you seen companies on TV or online who, or when you're walking down the road in your hometown that say they'll pay cash for gold? Do you ever wonder why there are so many people begging for your gold? So then that's the first paragraph of the article. Then I had it, they had me rewrite it. So the second time I said, have you ever wondered why so many people on TV or online or even, uh, or even when you're walking down the road in your hometown have ads that state they'll pay you cash for your gold or silver? And third time, online, on TV, and in your home, your own hometown are hundreds of people who want to pay you money for your silver and gold. Have you ever wondered why there are a lot of people who want to buy it from you? Okay, so same exact same thing, just in different words. Same second paragraph, the same thing. Third paragraph, the same. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Okay, so I created that. Um, I created all those articles, um, and then I made my resource box. Same thing. I made three different resource boxes. Then I picked the categories I want to go to: some investment sites, business finance site, and investing sites. So what's cool is it only will submit these articles to investment sites. So again, my links are very relevant. And then I start with my submission date, how soon I want to start, and then how many submissions I want a day, just 25. We've got submit, and boom, it starts happening. Okay? So that's basically how Unique Article Wizard works, guys. It's not super complicated. It's pretty simple to work. Like I said, it does this thing, and then boom, it starts sending out 25 links a day. Like I said, in a month from now, I'll come back and check it. I'll increase that to... 50 links to 100 links, depending, and or if the site's already ranked on where I want it to be, I'll just stop right there. I'll just keep it. I'll keep submitting 25 links a day, so it's natural. But I'm not going to go and keep, um, you know, driving thousands of links if I'm already on page number one. My goal with this is to get this page um, ranked on on Google. Okay, and so the first 30 days, I'm going to be very kind of passive and, and cautious and watch this thing. Watch as it raise goes up through the rankings. I go from, you know, from the 50th page to the 20th to the 10th to the first page, and then the second spot, the third spot, the fourth spot, and keep going up. Now, if you guys have picked the right keywords, if you do these green light keywords that we're talking about here, in 30 days, 25 links a day at 30 days, you're probably going to be on page number one, okay? Because they're green light keywords. They're simple ones. There's not a lot of competition out there, okay? And what else is cool about it is I can do the same process, and boom, right here, this is my, my blog page, but then here is my YouTube video for the same keyword. Then I go into the exact same process over here, Unique article wizard. I submit the same the same articles, posting out of my YouTube video, and now I'm going to watch as this YouTube video starts rising up in the rankings. Okay, then I pick my Craigslist page or my Squidoo lens, whatever it is. I come in here, I get the articles written, I, I post them to the page, and boom, I start watching it rise in the rankings. Okay, you see how cool that is? You see, how it gives you like the ability where you don't have to go and like become an SEO nerd. You just have to go and find somebody who can write articles and submit them for you. Okay, because it's really not more technical than that, you guys. Um, the most technical thing is going to be for you is just finding the right person to have them do this. You can show them this webinar and say, watch this thing that Russell talked about. You're a techie guy. Can you just do that for me all day long? And most of them will say, yep, I'm in. Okay? It's seriously a, a very simple and easy process. Okay? Um, all right, let me show you the next thing then. So that's how, that's how Unique Article Wizard works. And like I said, guys, their, their support's amazing. They have online staff. So if you get stuck, click on online uh, support. I was, on, I was on for like 20 minutes yesterday with the guy because I got stuck. And he's like, yeah, do this, this, and this. I'm like, oh, sweet. So it's very easy. They have great support um, for you or for your outsourcers. Every step, they have a little video that walks you through exactly what to do, what to do next. So again, very simple, very easy. Um, yeah, so that's pretty, that's pretty much it. And again, you guys, I don't expect you guys to be writing these articles, okay? I did these ones yesterday just to see the process. It was not fun. I did not enjoy it. It took me a long time. Um, but I did it once, and I think all you guys should do it once because then you're going to see the process. After you've done it once, it's very easy to now give one of these articles to someone and say, this is the article I did. Do something similar. I need 25 more links on this page, this page, and this page. Okay, and then go in there and do it over and over and over and over again. Okay? All right, so let me show you guys a couple more things then. So there's Unique Article Wizard. This is one that I recommend. This is one you guys should all become masters at. This is one that's just, it's just, it's a no-brainer. You should be doing it. Okay? Um, that's first. The next one, uh, and again, there's a lot of ways to get links. Some are shady, some are good. Um, I'm just going to show you the ones that we're currently using because I know they work. Um, I'm sure there's other ones out there you guys have used that may have success, some that you've heard of. Um, I don't want to comment on them. I'm just going to show you the ones we're using right now. Okay. The next one is Link Juicer. This one's similar except you pay for the links. Uh, they come from really good quality sites. I think you pay, how much are we paying for this one? Uh, okay, so forty-seven dollars a month, and they give you up to fifteen hundred inbound links every single month. Okay, so this one's if you don't want to do anything, you just pay these guys, and boom, you give them all your money pages. Here's or your feeder sites. Here's my YouTube video. Here's this. Here's this, and allocate how many links you want to go to each one, and they'll drive links for you as well. Okay, so some of you guys, this may be a, a really good option as well. Uh, the link juicer. Okay, and again, these are all inside of the 
all inside of the uh, the work uh, the workbook for you guys here. Um, okay, link to sir. Okay, the next one is lo and behold, who knew that Fiverr.com could also get get links for your site? Okay, now um, there's I want to be I want to warn you ahead of time because there's a lot of w linking things on Fiverr. Some are no good. Okay, some are horrible. Um, the ones that I like I like link wheels. Let me show you what a link wheel is. Basically, I'll sketch it out while we're waiting for it to load. So this is kind of what a, how link wheel works. So link wheel works like this. You have your your feeder site here in the middle, and what link wheel is, they'll go out there and they'll get a page on like Hub Pages and Squidoo and all these other these social sites that we're talking about, and they build a wheel around. So it's kind of like the feeder thing we're talking about. What they use they get this site to link to this one, this site to link to this one, this site to link to this one. And they kind of link around in a wheel, and then all these sites link back to you as well. That's basically how it works. Okay, and um, link wheels are pretty cool. They still work pretty well for us. Um, so I, I go into Fiverr, type in link wheels, make it bigger so you can see. And what I do is I click on rating because there's a lot of people selling link wheels. So I've got 541. So like, which one do you use? So I click on rating. What will happen is people it'll rate it by which one has the most success that people like. So this lady right here, she'll build me link wheel with six high PR blogs manually and then create 3,000 backlinks on them for five bucks. Okay, pretty sweet deal? I think so. And she's had over 5,000 sales, eight years experience as an SEO consultant. Okay, that's pretty awesome for five bucks. I like this lady a lot. Um, so it's gonna take her seven days to build the whole thing for you and it costs you five dollars. Okay, and check this out. You got 4,960 people who loved her, 45 that didn't like her. So you can look through and see what people liked. Well, this guy, ten hours ago, went from nowhere to page number uh, ranking number two for his main keyword um, from one link wheel. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Okay, so I get a lot of link wheels. I will probably buy some link wheels for this page just because I like link wheels. They're great. So that's one thing to do. Uh, another one on Fiverr I like a lot is um, is link pyramids. Okay, link pyramids are similar link wheels, but instead of like a wheel, it's more like a pyramid. Hence the name, Link Pyramid. Okay, so you have your money site up here at the top, and they get like four or five sites down here, all to link to you. And then they get like it's kind of like an MLM scheme. Okay, and they get a bunch of sites down here to link to those sites. And they get sites down here linking to those sites. Okay, so it makes this big like this big pyramid. So these ones are the only ones linking to you, but then all these ones link into these guys, and then all these ones link into these guys, and it just builds the credibility up. Okay, up all the way up along the thing. So again, Link Pyramids, boom, there's tons of them. Check this one. This one guy beats Panda and Penguins with his link pyramid. Okay. You gotta click on ratings. Find out who other people had a good success with so you don't get ripped off. And boom, top rated seller right here. This guy's gonna build a huge backlink pyramid with 5,000 profile links for $5. Four days will take him to do. Uh, he's got 8,000 positive reviews, zero negative reviews. Wow. This guy's a rock star. Okay, so for $5, he will build you this entire huge thing. Is that awesome, you guys? Okay, so Fiverr's like, if you don't use Fiverr, if you're not excited by Fiverr after today's webinar, then you're crazy. In fact, I bet you 50 bucks. Let's try this. Unique article, unique article wizard. I bet there's people in here who will submit articles for me through their article wizard account. Yeah, it checks out. So this guy right here for five bucks, he will rewrite your articles using TBS, submit your unique article wizard, uh, submit, submit two unique article wizard for thousands of backlinks. So if you don't even want to get an account at Unique Article Wizard, pay this dude five bucks and he'll do the whole article for you. Forty-one positive people that have loved it. Zero negative reviews. Okay, I'm gonna go from rating here. I'll see. Let's see if there's someone really high up there for uh, Unique Article Wizard. Like I said, most of these tasks you guys, I'm showing you guys, I'm showing you guys the, the concept behind it because I, th I really think it's important for the entrepreneur to understand the process. I do not think it's important for the entrepreneur to do the process. Maybe once, but for the most part, your guys' job is to understand the stuff so you can get other people doing these things for you, right? So you can create your own system. Yeah. Again, here's another article wizard, five bucks. He will submit your thing to article wizard, six days. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, link pyramids. Let me show you the ones I really like. Um, I really like .edu and .gov links. If you ever talked about like the quality links are very important. So um, 
it's not possible for anyone in the world to get a .edu or .gov link. And so, um, where are we at? So, Google ranks those really high. So type in .edu, and what happens, there's these people that have, like, blogs on college blogs and stuff like that, and they'll link from their college blog to you. This guy will give you 500 quality EDU backlinks and 1,000 instant backlinks to your site by posting comments for five bucks. Okay, so there's 500 links. Now, remember, <laughs> the one concern I have with some of these things, you guys, remember we talked about you want 25 links a day. I like unique arc wizard because you'll start slow, but after a month, and things are starting, you know, starting to rise in the rankings, you're not quite where you want to go yet. That's when I use somebody to really push, you know, give myself a little boost out, you know, boost through the through the rankings. It's something like this. I wouldn't come out day number one and drop a thousand links to your site. Okay, that's not going to benefit you at all. Uh, coming in, doing the 25 links a day, you know, you get you get page number one, but your number eight spot or number nine spot, and you want to be up higher. Okay, now I'm going to come in. I'm going to do a push. I'm going to I'm going to drive some edu backlinks. Okay, or some .gov. Okay, .gov. They're government sites. Again, not easy to get .gov links, but there are people. I don't know how these guys do it. I really have no idea. But um. But yeah, so they got these .gov links coming in for, uh, here's 10 PR9, do follow government links for five bucks. Isn't that crazy, you guys? 10 PR9 links from a .gov site, five bucks. Okay? There's, like I said, there, there's some really, really awesome linking stuff you can do here in Fiverr. Okay, I'm sure you guys heard about Traffic Geyser or SE Nuke, all these different software programs that are hundreds or thousands of dollars to buy. Okay, check this out. Like if I type in Traffic Geyser. Guess what's going to happen? There will be people somewhere in the world for five bucks who will submit my entire video to all of Traffic Geyser. Okay? That's better than paying 97 bucks a month for Traffic Geyser, don't you think? Okay, so there's like there's a lot of different things to, to, to do um, to start getting more and more links. Okay? But again, start with the, the slow drip process through the unique article wizard or link juicer. Again, this is this is one you're you're kind of working more, this one you're just paying to have it happen. And then come in here and give yourself boost through fire. Do, you know, do link will, do link pyramid, do some edu, gov links. That's how you can start really ramping this, these things up. Okay, now number seven here. This is a this is a secret that um, I learned from a guy named Paul Lynch, and uh, this has gotten me ranked for the most competitive keywords in the history of the planet. Um, do you guys want to know what it is? Because it's really cool. Only a few guys will actually do this though, so maybe I won't share it to you guys. Okay, fine. I really like you guys want it. <laughs> okay, so this is the concept I learned from Paul Lynch. Okay. And it's brilliant. In fact, he's got a whole huge SEO company based off of this this concept. Okay, so what he does is he goes to Google, and he finds the dudes and the ladies who are ranked in the top ten for the keyword he wishes he was for. Okay, or a very similar keyword. Okay, now this guy Google already ranks the number. Let's say let's just say it's make money. Okay, that's the one we were doing it with. Let's say it's make money is the keyword. Okay, so type in that Google. Boom, here's the top ten people. Okay, now. What Paul does is he says, this guy, Google already ranks him number one for, for the word make money. So if I get a keyword from a guy who's ranked number one for make money, how much is Google going to value that link for? Okay, they're going to value it for a lot. They're going to say that's an amazing link to have, and, uh, and they're going to give you tons of, of credit for that. Okay? So what he does is he comes back here to some right here, and then here's his site right here. Okay? So this is the site he wants to rank. Actually, let me see if I, if I can draw this better. Okay, so this is Google at the top. So here is... So you pick this guy here. This is his website, and then here is Paul's website, and then here on the side is a is a .edu or .gov link. E D U. Okay. So what Paul does is he comes back and says, "Hey, dude, I went to your site, saw your number four right here for make money. I would love to have you link from your site over back to my site." And the guy says, "Are you crazy? Why would I do that? It would lose all the credibility because." You know, my rank number one for that keyword, I, I don't want to give that credibility to you. He says, well, how about this? i got something you really want. i got a link on an EDU site, or i got 10 links, or 50, whatever it is. I'll give you 50 links on an EDU site if you give me one link back to my site. So finally, he gets these guys to, to, to do it. He links from his EDU site to their site. They then link to his site, and boom, what happens is almost overnight, he jumps up on like hyper-competitive keywords up there with people like that. Does that make sense, you guys? So you're using this. We call it link bait. Okay, I see a lot of other people do, do well, they'll go and they'll buy a site that has like PR7. Ooh, PR7. And they'll link bait. Say, look, you link to me, I'll link to, you link to my site over here, I'll link, I'll give you the PR7 link. And they use it as link bait. Okay, it's a very, very, very powerful strategy. So what we're doing right now, this is my big secret I shouldn't share with you guys, is I'm getting .ed links, I'm paying five bucks from over here, and I can go to someone and say, look, I'll give you five hundred quality EDU links and a thousand instant backlinks to your site. 
if you'll drop a link back to my site. This person's like, that's a sweet deal. Where else am I going to get 500 EDU links for, for that? So he drops the link back to my site. I go to Fiverr, pay five bucks, drop the links back to his site. Everybody wins. We're all happy. Okay, so for the more advanced people, that is a strategy that can and should make you a lot of money. Okay, and if you missed that or you're not ready for it yet, be sure to watch the webinar as you, as you kind of start getting more into this because that is just what I just gave you guys is, yeah, I see the comments, yeah. <laughs> that was pure gold, okay? That little secret right there. Hope you guys, um, I hope you loved it. Okay, let me jump back into this really quick. A couple more things, and we're at about two hour mark, so a couple more things and we'll take another break. The next thing is a site called dropmylink.com. This is just a really cool site that we use a lot for dropmylink.com. Um, it's basically it's a site that finds .edu sites, .gov sites, um, all these sites that allow you to link. So let's say I want to link from, let's say I'm in the weight loss space. Right? I'm typing weight loss edu blogs. I click search. Does it pulls up? Here's a whole bunch of um, blogs that are on .edu sites that allow um, that allow comments. So I so check this out. I just got a th 1,200 sites. That, have, that are about weight loss that are .edu sites that I can comment on the blog and drop a, con, a blog comment. Does that make sense? So you got to go right here. This is blog.womenshealth.northwestern.edu. So edu. I can post a comment on this blog. I come right here. I respond back to this thing. I post a comment. I drop. And make sure it's an intelligent comment. Don't be a spammer. Put a good comment in there and drop a link back to your site. And boom, I just got a link from a .edu site that's in my niche. Okay, remember we talked about relevancy, how important that is? Okay, this is perfectly relevant. Okay, it's a weight loss link going to my weight loss site. Okay, so for example, if I if I went back to uh, drop my link again, let me just type in um, um, gold investing. Type search. Boom. Okay, I'm actually just right out with you guys. This will be fun. Okay, news and events. Okay, so this is a Penn State blog. This is on Penn State site. This is awesome, you guys. Penn State is going to link to me right now. So let me find. Uh, let me find a site about gold. Okay, so this one's talking about gold. So this one's quite relevant. It's talking about gold, silver, like metals. I don't want that. I want gold investing. So we come down here. Investors. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here's <laughs> it's on Stanford site. It's talking about scam artists. So, prime target of scam artists. Uh, did you do? Okay, so it should allow me to comment, but I'm not sure if it's going to. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Penn State one because I think that one has a place. So I come here. Find the article. Great. Of course, I'm trying this live. I can't find the right one. <laughs> okay. We'll find one here in a sec. That's one that I'm going to post a blog comment. Boom. Post a comment. And again, these are all do follow comments. It only pulls up sites that do follow. So I can leave a comment right here. Boom. So I can say, so, uh, Okay, so Russell, the gold, silver guy. Dot com, by email, no. Okay, my comment would basically be, and again, I wish I would, I feel bad that my not going to be relevant as it should be, but um, I'm sorry that I missed Carolyn. Because this is a, a post about her, her speaking. Speaking. Um, speaking. I heard it was awesome. Um, I'll, I'll make sure I get on the calendar tomorrow for next year. Thanks, Russell, www.gold silversecrets.com okay so I'm not going to post this because it's not relevant but if it was relevant I post something like that drop it boom I just got a, a, 
you know, a backlink from, uh, from University of Nebraska's blog. Okay, you guys see how powerful that kind of stuff is? So that's what I love about uh, Drop My Link. You can find um, .edu's, .gov's, Angela Backlinks, like all these sites, and they're, very, they're all very, very niche specific to exactly the niche you're in. So again, when to use those things? It's when you are trying to rise up the rankings, okay? You're at, you're at number eight, you want to get number seven or six, okay? Go to do follow, drop five or six links coming from these different blogs, you know, and just little things to, to keep pushing, pushing your ranking up, okay? All right, where are we at? Uh, drop my link. Okay, ping farm. Yeah, okay, so let's see. Actually, don't do that next. Ping farm. Yeah, I'm going to share this on the next one. So um, we're going to take a quick, because we're, we're two hours mark. I'm going to take a break really quick, and then we're going to come back to the ping farm thing right here. So, so we've been going two hours straight. I know some of you guys need bathroom breaks. I need a quick bathroom break. So let's take a ten, uh, seven minute break. So it's 4.03 my time right now. So at 4.10 my time, we're going to get started. I'll probably come back in about five minutes and start answering questions again. Let's take a quick break because I know two hours is a long time to sit. So go to the bathroom, get everything of that. We're going to come back and we've got um, probably another hour left. I think we should be done. We're going to be covering uh, linking to links, social linking, uh, then the red light stuff, and then how to structure your site after it's been ranked. Um, some really cool, exciting things. So. Go take a quick bathroom break and we'll be back in seven minutes.